There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about a couple of things. There's some stuff going on, not nothing too crazy, but I wanted to come on here and talk about Jake Paul and some things that are going on with him as well as this Ethan Klein lawsuit that's been refiled by Triller. I think it's not Thriller. I keep thinking thriller because I'm like a horror fan so we're gonna jump into that but first I want to say hey Nick I love you and how are you doing I love you too oh. I'm doing great <laughs> so first things first we all know who Cole Kerrigan is do we yeah we do unfortunately oh. and we know that he has a history of trying to out people mm -hmm. being very problematic we know that mm -hmm. he has been going back and forth with Tana for quite some time now and Tana said that she was gonna sue him could she he was I, I don't know he was like allegedly kicked out of an, a house and he's just like really bad news like he has done all kinds of things like the whole thing with this person's dad that he went to school with I'm not even gonna really get into that <laughs> you guys know that it's gross disgusting deplorable but he's someone who will do anything for attention. He is. So I don't believe this for a damn he, second. He needs that validation from social media. And you know what's so funny? For him to hang out with all these people that have major social media followings, a lot of people really must not like Cole because Cole, <laughs> he hasn't really grown that much. The only videos that he posts on YouTube that get views are the videos that he makes about drama because we all remember the whole Austin McBroom situation that he made videos about. Mm hmm alleging all kinds of things Cameron that, Dallas yeah Cameron Dallas all these all this different stuff because I think that he thinks that him being problematic is going to get him somewhere it's not. where he, he really honestly has no place being because he is not like he's talented but his attitude and the way he treats people and the way he talks to people and the way he just puts himself up on a pedestal like he is next well, to no one well really gets on my well, nerves well I hate to tell him I hate to tell him uh, with the problematic things that we're dealing with right now with influencers the bar is set really high Mm -hmm. So, hey, girl, you don't want to go to that level mm -hmm. to get people to talk about you. That's disgusting. Yeah, no, it's gross. But, okay, I know this is going to come as a shocker. Uh, <laughs> Cole went on to TikTok and he posted this TikTok and it said, when you had a secret love affair with another YouTuber, old roommate, but he ended up becoming a professional boxer and forgot about you. And a lot of people were like, oh, is he talking about Tana? Okay, first of all, Tana was not a boxer. He's talking about Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. We know that. And just, okay, if this were true, if this were true, that would mean that he's trying to out this man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So strike one there. That's gross. You don't out people that are not really wanting to be outed. But second of all, I don't believe this for a second because remember, he said that he hooked up with Kanye West. <laughs> Do we believe that? That I don't know. Uh, girl, <laughs> that, I don't believe Stranger that. things have happened, girl. Yeah, stranger I don't know. things have happened, but do we believe that? Know, Absolutely no. not, girl. I don't know. What? No. Well, wait a minute. Why are you so shocked that he would be allegedly outing someone when he did that thing with the kid's father that he went to school with and then put the pictures up and did the story time yeah, about it? because Kanye West wouldn't be bothered by no, him. No, I'm talking about the other one. What do you mean? Because you said that he would be allegedly outing someone. Oh, yeah, and I mean, I'm not shocked that he would do that. No, it, it, that's Hell trash no. behavior from a trash person. I, I thoroughly believe that he would do that. But he remember he also claimed that Tana t hacked his social media, uh -huh. deleted his Instagram, did all this stuff. So, and he also accused uh, Keemstar of being paid by the Ace family like five hundred thousand dollars, which turned out to not be true. So Cole is basically a liar for lying at this point. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say what kind of energy that gives off, but. <laughs> Read well, the room. <laughs> so basically, after all of this, Cole's account got permanently deleted from TikTok. He had like 358,000 followers on there. So I'm sure he's going to be crying about that for some time. But, I think it was like the second account, too. Well, I mean, it's banned. honestly at this point, it's what he deserves because like... I think there's something going on with Cole. I don't want to get into it, but there's something not right about this kid. Like <laughs> something is, he's lacking something essential. Yeah. There's something not clicking in his brain. <laughs> there's something that's not working the way it's supposed to. He's just not, he, he needs to take time away. Yeah. He needs to get away from the internet. And you know, also too, that reminds me, wasn't he allegedly using other people's stuff over on OnlyFans? Like he oh, stole yeah. their that. videos and content and tried to make it seem like it was his? Allegedly. 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 Because I got that story too. I had someone reach out to me and I was like, 
I hope this works out for you. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not talking about Cole on my channel. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like Cole either, but let's use this as a segue because we're already talking about Jake Paul. Now, you guys know that there was this whole thing with Ethan from H3H3 where he was involved in this lawsuit with Triller. Uh, the people that produced and like streamed the uh, the uh, what was it the fight between Jake and Ben Askren Askren Akron? Right? so something it went really quickly they were mentioned in this lawsuit it basically got dropped and it was no more but this has been refiled mm -hmm. and now they're looking for losses up to fifty million dollars. Yeah, because they're saying that Ethan was on a live stream mm -hmm. and he streamed this fight. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I saw, Ethan is saying that it was fair use. He provided commentary the whole time with the part that he showed. He was just showing clips. But the fight lasted for like five seconds. So, right. I mean, how could you really get mad at someone for that? Because it's literally five freaking seconds of well, a fight. I mean, to be honest... I think that the whole fight thing with these YouTubers is a scam anyway, because oh yeah, like you're having people pay f upwards 50, 60, 70 dollars to watch this stuff. And it lasts two minutes. Like the only one a that real gonna... boxing match lasts longer than that. Well, it depends. I mean, it the does. only one that I'm going to pay for is going to be Mayweather and Logan Paul. I oh, will actually I pay Logan for that. Gets his block knocked off. I will pay for that and I will get some snacks for us. Yeah. We'll get, get some Mary Jane. <laughs> Instead yeah, of watch it. But like $50 million. Come on now. These I people mean, really. They, $50 million. Yeah, they said that they like lost like millions of viewers or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Like, but me, we're in the middle of a panini and these people are out here charging $50 to watch. The people paid it. They did. They did pay it. And I'm not knock, knocking the hustle. I mean, no, but no. $50 for two, like literally two minutes. I yeah. think, honestly, I think Ethan, he, I don't even think he's sweating about this. I don't even think he's worried about it. I just, because you know that him and uh, Ela, they have had a whole lawsuit like this in the past, <laughs> yeah. right? And they, they, they fought, they won. It was a free, uh, what was it? I don't want to say free speech. It wasn't free speech. It was, um. I think on front of me, he said they had a lawsuit and it cost him like $200,000 yeah. one time. But That's I mean, crazy. At the end of the day, I think that Ethan is a smart guy and oh, I yeah. think that he's going to handle this. I mean, he, he was live, was it with Trisha or it was on the front of me's podcast. I can't remember. We watched so much of it, but he basically, he was commenting on it, but he wasn't commenting on it. And mm -hmm. I don't think he's worried and I don't think he should be worried because <laughs> they're not getting $50 million. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to watch Emily Baker to, to see yeah. what, what she thinks is going to come of that. But honestly, what do you like in your summarization? What do you think about Cole? Because like that's the way no about Cole. I don't think of him either. But I you don't. guys, please let us know your thoughts and opinions on all of this down below. Do you think that Cole is out of line? Do you think that he really overstepped? Because I think he did. And I think it's a cry for attention. And some of the Instagram lives I've popped into there sketchy behavior but uh Ooh. also let me know your thoughts about this refiling of the triller lawsuit against ethan klein from h3h3 i hope you all have an amazing day and a great weekend and we'll see you on the next video bye bye guys bye.